guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Okolo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for stopping by. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we did another Battle of the Brands 15 hour wear test. And up today, we have the J Own Jelly Pack Primer versus the Philips Milk of Magnesia Primer. So I did put the two of these to the test. This is a $5 primer versus a $42 primer. And we're gonna see how these work side by side. This acts as a mattifying primer by putting on a veil almost like similar to a clay mask onto your skin and mattifies the skin. But this one here, it dramatically firms the skin, improves elasticity, and leaves almost like a sticky glue-like consistency onto your skin for your makeup to stick on and stay on. So we're gonna be seeing throughout the day which one of these performs better. Before we hop right into the tutorial, I wanna say thank you so much for tuning in again, but don't forget to subscribe on your way out and to leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. It does help to spread the word so that others can enjoy the same footage you're enjoying as well. All right, let's get in. The two primers that we are reviewing today are the Philips Milk of Magnesia versus the J Own Jelly Pack. So this primer retails for $4.39, while this retails for $42. Milk of Magnesia is really controversial in the beauty community because i mean this is a laxative this is something you're supposed to drink if you know you're constipated i've always looked at milk of magnesia as a makeup product because it literally works that well like there are very few things on the market that work just as well as milk of magnesia and i've tried a lot it's I have dry skin, but I have dry combination skin. So right in my T-zone, I literally can fry plantain on my nose. Milk of Magnesia, if I need to have my makeup on for over five hours, this is what I'll use. So I do not wear makeup every day. And you guys will see like in a lot of my videos, I don't actually use Milk of Magnesia. It's only for like, for example, with our Battle of the Brands 15 hour wear test, I will usually go in with Milk of Magnesia because I want the makeup to last or hold up. It stops the oil production and wherever, so wherever you're oily, if you put a thin veil over that, it will turn white and it will shield or block out any oils from coming out or oil production from coming onto the skin. It almost acts, acts like a clay mask. The reason why it's so controversial is one, because of the fact that it is a laxative, but secondly, it lies in the pH. So the pH balance of like bleach, household bleach is around 12, right? The pH of your skin is, a, is around the neighborhood of like five, but the pH of milk of magnesia is 10.5 which is really high it's really high so if you're using milk of magnesia please don't slobber this all over your face only put it in tiny amounts in the areas you need i cannot tell you not to do something okay generally this really should not be put on your face that's not what it was meant for however it it just is it just is effective prolonged use of this can cause issues and that's obvious with anything that isn't supposed to be on your skin, okay? So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying go run out and buy milk of magnesia. Let's talk about the Jayon Jelly Pack. The reason, first off, I heard about this from Nikki Tutorials. She has dry combination skin as well. She has combination skin, so she gets really, really oily in her T-zone. And I will say if Nikki Tutorials recommended it, I kind of wanted to try it. I wanted to buy it and see what was really up. Let's see what this primer does claim to do. Right on the box, it says dramatic firming skin with improved elasticity and pore smoothing. So I believe this is actually a Korean skincare product, at least just from looking at the back. Yeah, this is a Korean skincare product. Ooh. It's a true multitasking makeup gripper that combines a morning mask, oh, a morning mask, lifting treatment, and primer all in one. 
This unique jelly texture helps to quickly and effectively penetrate in the skin to deliver moisture for depleted skin while firming the skin upon a gent gentle patting, creating a smooth, flawless canvas for makeup. So this is apparently supposed to be like glue for your makeup. It's supposed to be a lifting and firming mask. So this is interesting. It's a skincare product, but also a makeup product. I love intersectional products like that. Like that's so cool. So I just opened it there. I'm gonna take this out. This is the packaging it does come in. Um, it's, in it's a really cute packaging. And then at the back, it's got a whole bunch of stuff in Korean that I can't read. I can write my name in Korean though. I just can't read this. So we're gonna be doing a half and half. On the right side of my face, I'm going to have the J Own Jelly Pack. And then on the left side of my face, I'm gonna have the Philips Milk of Magnesia. I'm just gonna take this on the back of my hand. Squeeze, ooh. So it does come out in a jelly-like consistency. It's like, so slimy. So this stuff is thick. I'm really hoping that this primer does work as well as it is raved about because it has, let me see, what rating does it have on Sephora's website? It's got a 4.4 rating on Sephora, 4.4 out of 5. That's really high. That is very, very high. So wow. I really hope this stuff works. I'm really trying to make sure I put it in the zone that I do get oily in. You know what? I'm not gonna lie, this side of my face already looks better in terms of like pores. I don't have a lot of pores, but I can see a difference in how my skin looks on this side, on the right side versus the left side right now. Okay, Jayon Jelly Pack. So now we're gonna go in with Philips Milk of Magnesia. It does come out liquidy. I don't want to run, make it run over. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take this and apply this, just this amount, all in this area right here where I do get oily. So obviously I can't read a, read a description on Sephora for Milk of Magnesia. However, it does act almost like a clay mask. If you've ever tried a clay mask, um, so it's interesting because both of these kind of act as like masks for the skin. It's important to make sure you put only a thin layer and that you let it dry completely. If you don't let the Milk of Magnesia dry, like you can't just apply Milk of Magnesia and then run away and go do your makeup. Like go put foundation on right away. You have to let it dry. You're literally just wasting your time. It's like putting on a claim a, a mask and then rinsing it off right, right away. Are you gonna get the benefits of it? Like, no, you're not. So you wanna make sure that your milk of magnesia dries completely. It's gonna look like a white cask, but at least make sure it dries completely. I think I'm just to be fair, I'm gonna apply just a little bit on my forehead as well. Like right here. And just right here. Just so we really test it out. All right, so our primer is on. I'm gonna go do my foundation, contour, highlight, everything else, and then we're gonna come back on camera and go about our day. Okay guys, so this is the final look for today in terms of the makeup. So this is what each side is kinda looking like right now. I have a few errands to run. I'm gonna go about my day and we're gonna check in pretty soon. right now I can say that the milk of magnesia side is definitely holding up a lot better right now there's some slight oil production right here but it's not too bad as of right now so we'll see so Ileana okay. I'm, look at my t-zone I want you to tell me which side of my face you think looks better in terms of oil control and everything <laughs> I feel bad for what I'm about to say. Yeah, we're for Sephora. Shout out to Sephora. Uh -oh. But believe it or not, the Milk of Magnesia actually is like Looks better. Yes. Oh, she says Milk of Magnesia is winning out. And she used to work for Sephora, so check this out. <laughs> so, hi Jasmine. Hi. I want to see if you can tell me which side looks better. 
it's the stuff that goes underneath <laughs> your makeup so that your makeup okay. lasts longer which all day. Yeah, which side looks better? <laughs> You like this side better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do you like this side better? But like a healthy sheen. Oh, healthy sheen. Okay. You know, and I see the little rose in this, <laughs> but it's not too rosy like on this side. Hey guys, so it's currently 8:34 p.m. now. Right here is definitely more matte than right here, but I will say so far. This primer isn't really bad. You can see like there's more oil production in this area right here versus right here. So this is the Milk of Magnesia side. But overall, it's not like I look like a greasy chicken, you know? Like it's just, it's oil production but still looks kind of healthy. So it's not too bad whatsoever. So we're going to see in another three and a half hours i'm gonna try and edit some videos right now we'll see in about a, a few more hours what's going on okay guys this is gonna be the final take it is currently now midnight and i've already ripped off my lashes and i accidentally started rubbing my eyes um because i'm so tired however this primer held up its end looking for a replacement for milk of magnesia i would recommend this this primer is really good at um keeping the skin matte for a long period of time i did not look like a greasy chicken by the end of the day but for people who are you know who do wear have to wear makeup every day like my college self would go and buy the jayon jelly you know, after if, if I saw a review like this, I would go out and buy a J on Jelly because I wore makeup in college every single day. But now I don't. But the J on Jelly is definitely staying for sure, for sure. Um, it's definitely a good replacement for for the Milk of Magnesia because the Milk of Magnesia really is it's a laxative. It's not you shouldn't really be putting it on your skin. So I would recommend this. So yeah, definitely gets a thumbs up from me that is the end of the video for today let me know which one would you be trying are you going to be sticking with the milk of magnesia or giving this a try once in a while or will you go ahead and purchase the 42 dollar j own jelly pack primer let me know in the comment section down below i really do appreciate you guys stopping by i do have a few other videos that you can check i will link them right here i do hope to see you in another video until then stay blessed and stay golden